above the yellow bar body of the saw. So he stuck that in there just to steady it while the other ROV got in there to give it, uh, to, to hold on to it so that he could readjust his grip with his grappler. And um, it's very, very fascinating here. The, I'm not sure what kind of pressure those grappler hands can exert, but the, it's almost like they've got it at the tip of their fingers, and you'd think, wow, that's, the, um, that's not very uh, good, you know, not, not a lot of strength in that grip. At least for a kickback, if the if the saw were to torque, you think it just you know it would be easy to to um, break that grip. And you can see if he stops moving around. Interesting. So I would think that they want to grip it higher on the gripping plate and uh, with a little more um, ability to prevent it from torquing out of the the grappler. But they kind of just hold it with the tip of the grappler on the gripping plate. Okay, so I understand now the, the nature of the strap cutting in these. Uh, these are called the reti re, uh, riser retainer straps, and they actually do hold the riser in place. Um, uh, but they got damaged in the, uh, the wake of the explosion and when the, the, the rig was pulled off. Um, this is what I'm gathering from the IRC channel. I could be totally wrong about that. And we, we can see the saw is cutting again now, uh, trying to get into that same cut. And uh, we'll just we'll just watch and see what happens. It looks like they managed to cut through the uh, retainer strap cleanly. Uh, looks like that's pretty much detached. Uh, with the um, the retaining clip, riser retaining strap cut, this ROV is now backing off. I'm not sure if this is a safety precaution or he's just getting ready to do something else. Keep you posted. Mm, looks like he's just uh, backed off to go around that that hose or pipe that's in the foreground there. He's going around probably to move in for another cut on the retaining straps or on the retaining strap, which holds the four um, claw-like pieces that are part of the retaining system. This uh, this angle here, you can see the other ROV on the right with the lights. It's it's truly something out of a, a science fiction movie, uh, something that uh, Ridley Scott might have done, illustrated by Geiger. It's surreal in its in its effect, at least upon me. Um, a soundtrack uh, added to this would certainly make it a complete the effect, and. I'm sure there's going to be a movie made of this. Um, the saw operators, as one person sh said in the um, chat channel, that they probably were having a smoke at this point just after that last saw cut, just a sort of a uh, post-cut, <laughs> uh, post-coital cutting uh, cigarette. I'm sorry for my uh, terminology, but I just think it's so funny in some way. And if you can't laugh about some of these things, I'm sure you know you, you all you could really do is cry. So he's getting a view now of the uh, the next part of the strap that they're going to cut. And the saw has been repositioned, and I believe the saw is spinning. Yes, it does look it, a much clearer picture here. Not sure if it has to do with the currents. Um, there doesn't seem to be any as much debris and bubbles coming up from this cut, but he's going in for the cut. see how this goes. And the saw is uh, getting very close to completing this cut. There's a little bit of wiggling going on here. All right, the uh, saw has been extracted from the cut. Uh, oops, whoop. Uh, there might be some movement here. Uh, the ROV is uh, yes, definitely appears to be some movement in the strap, the retainer strap. Uh, just camera operators moving around. He looks like he's tugging on it with the, the ROV. Oh, it's, I don't think that cut is completely through. Might be. Oh, this 
is exciting. Whoa, what's going on here? Getting some uh, some oil. Whoa, yes, that thing is definitely coming off at some point here. I mean, it's loose. And he's just going to twist it a bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, and this is certainly changing the nature of the uh, of the oil that's coming out of the riser. It's it's uh, somewhat obscuring their vision. I wonder if there's something coming out from underneath the strap. There could be a kink. There could be a crack exactly below, or right below the strap. Well, I'll uh, pause here and and we'll come back when there's more to see. It looks like they're going to bring the saw in to complete the cut. They've tried to wiggle the uh, retainer strap off. It's not, it's not coming off. So they're coming back in with the saw just to finalize that cut. Um, you, can you can see in this shot here, there's a looks like a sort of a gasket flapping around. Must have been underneath the retaining strap. A sort of a uh, just a sort of a foam a layer that might have been stuck in place provide some sort of um, uh, separation between the, the metal of the strap from the metal of the riser. And it appears as if the saw is actually uh, running and trying to saw in a different point to the right of the initial cut. Uh, there might be a bolt there. Uh, not quite sure why, but they've probably determined that they need to cut on the other side of that. There it is. The uh, strap has been cut. And this ROV is backing off with its prize, which is one half of the retaining, the riser retaining strap. That is pretty cool. There are, uh, I don't know how many people, thousands of people are watching this live, but a big cheer just went up. I'm surprised, I would not be surprised if they were uh, not showing this in bars and people <laughs> were sitting around drinking beers watching this action. It's it's truly cool. Uh, we're back. The uh, ROV is just making it's, it's it's taken its strap that it cut off and deposited it either on a mud mat or in the recycling bin that they will take back up to the surface. Lots of talk on the IRC channel about how much that will go for. That strap will go for on eBay. Kind of funny. Now the ROV is just, uh, I think it's just heading back. Actually, it, we did see the the, bo the BOP stack in its view again, so I'm not sure already. And, and then it, it's it gone back to this sort of black outer space view. So we'll, uh, we'll come back when there's something more going on. Uh, so there's some discussion now with the view we're, we're looking at. There's some uh, just clear bubbles coming out from where the riser attaches to the flange, pretty much just left of center of the riser and the flange area, you can see it there. Looks like white smoke. It's just it's just clear bubbles. So I think they're trying to assess what what the consequences of their next cut are going to be in relation to those bubbles. I guess what and as I view what's being said on the IRC channel is and the the concern is is how could that just be gas? Uh, clear gas coming through there when what we have coming up through the p the pipe is a mixture of crude oil and methane and this just seems to be pure you know either oxygen or nitrogen or some uh, gas that has nothing to do with the crude so it's interesting it, it might be it might be methane that's somehow being compressed into an area and coming out there it is possible um, I don't know if it, I, I mean I say it's possible. I have no idea if it's possible. Um, I'm just speculating that it might be possible. Um, not sure why the um, operator zoomed in on that. I, maybe some sort of acoustical sensor or something. Interesting note on the IRC channel. Somebody just commented that those could be Schlieren lines, which is something I learned about in biochemistry back in 1980. Gosh, four, eighty, actually eighty-three, and uh, it's it's a German word that means uh, I think it means worms, and it's the effect that happens when hot and cold water or warm and cold water are mixing. So there could be some uh, heat, heated water 